Hello, my most amazing artist. Today, we are going to start with a pinch pot. Your smaller piece of clay is for your details. So you're going to take the bigger piece of clay and kind of use your hand to pound it into a ball. Then, if there's any cracks in your clay, you want to make sure you smooth those out with your thumb. Then you're going to take your thumb and dive it in. You want it to go really far down, almost to your knuckle. Then you're going to start with your shark mouth hand and pinch from the bottom. Start at the bottom so you get rid of the thickness there and then go to the top. You could use the table and two pinching hands if that's easier for you. Then you are going to smooth it out. So I'm checking if there's any parts that are thicker than others starting from the bottom and working my way up. You want to aim for an even thickness all the way around. So about a pencil thick. You do not want it to get as thin as a potato chip because that's going to be really sharp when it comes out of the kiln. So make super sure that it is as thick as a pencil. You do not want it to be thin and wimpy and sharp like a potato chip. As thick as a pencil, please. Then you're going to double check and smooth out any cracks that are happening in your clay just using your thumb. Then, boys and girls, you're going to take your pinch pot and tap it flat on the bottom so it sits really nicely on the table. After you tap it flat, you're going to think about your details. So if you are adding a texture, you could carve through. This works really well for like fur, if you're making an animal. Or you could also just do a fun design with a big loop tool like this. And you could carve through making like stripes on your pot. Or you could use a butter knife to make kind of some lines or a pattern. So if you're not doing an animal or something like that, you could choose to do just a texture or a pattern also. Then you can add a foot if you want or if you have time, but you don't have to add feet to your pot. So you don't have to do this, but if you would like to, you can. Um, and make sure you scratch and attach that foot on if you're adding it. So here I'm adding a coil using scratch and attach, add a little water, and then I'm going to kind of smooth those coils together and smooth it into my pot. And that adds what's called a foot. Or you could also choose to do one that is made with just balls of clay and scratch and attach those onto the bottom of your pot. Make sure you scratch and add a fingertip of water on there. Remember, that's the glue of clay. Crisscross your scratching and then add it on. If you are adding any details, you can absolutely do that as well. Making your ears, making your different shapes, you could just pinch it out or you could make a flat slab to create some designs and some details. Then make sure you scratch and attach every single time that you add something on. Here I'm making my cat, so then I'm adding a triangle nose, I'm adding my mouth, just carving it in. I'm adding some little circles of clay for my eyes, and then I decided to scratch in some details to my eyes. Then make sure that when you clean up, you put all of your tools back in your bin and squish up any extra clay that you did not use. Then you're going to write your name on this label here and put it inside of your pot. And then you are going to find a space on the cart to place your pot in. Remember, remember, remember.
please scratch and attach every single time you add clay to clay.